That's right, Rhea, safety. But in this case, safety comes with a camcorder. Hi, I'm Terry Wood. So what does a video recorder have to do with off-highway safety? Well, if you're in school, anywhere between kindergarten and a senior in high school, pick up a video recorder, even your cell phone recorder, and you could change the way people recreate on our western trails. And you can pick up some cash to boot. Over the past decade, the fight to keep OHV trails open has often come down to whether or not riders have properly respected the lands they've enjoyed. You know, too often, errant tracks left by one or two ATVs have been the tipping point that shut down paths that have been enjoyed for generations. Programs such as Tread Lightly have worked hard to rectify that fact, educating riders on the importance of staying on the trail, wearing the proper safety gear, and being a good example of public land stewardship. Two years ago, Utah State Parks and a group of private partners decided to join that effort. Instead of taking the lead, however, they passed the torch to the up-and-coming riders of tomorrow. Now, the idea was simple. Hand them a video camera and let today's youth tell the story of OHV safety and responsible land use. The Ride On Video Contest was born. Well, this is our third season of the Ride On Video Contest, and we're in partnership with At Your Leisure, CITLA, which is School Institutional Trust Lanes, and of course, Utah State Parks. And the video contest is geared towards school age students that can participate in this contest, and it focuses upon safety messages provided by Utah State Parks and Recreation, along with ethical riding and responsibility on CITLA lands. It's a really quick and easy way to make $500, and it also gives you the chance to go out and ride with your family and help teach your friends about how to ride safe and it also helps protect the future of our sports and makes it so that our riding areas aren't damaged and that we all stay on the trails and that we have the chance to actually go ride when we feel like it. That attitude of respect has been on display in all of the films created over the years of the Ride On contest. Filmmakers from as young as eight-year-olds to seniors in high school have put their video skills to the test in innovative ways, often spurred on by nothing more than the invitation to give it a try. They wrote the whole script. I really just kind of handed them the flyer and then they ran with it. At first, my dad sent me an email with the link to the website so I knew a little bit about it and I thought it would be a good way to make some easy money and spend it on something that I really like. And I also got the chance to go out and ride with my dad and make a video while having fun out with my family. The first year that I did it, I partnered up with my sister. And in our first scene, we got to dress up as nerds and we had this theme that you didn't have to be a rocket scientist to be a smart rider. And so we played that up a lot. For 16-year-old Jessica Rhodes, armed with a simple idea and a cell phone camera, Ride On wasn't rocket science at all and it paid off big. She took home the first prize in her age category. Now, as the Ride On Youth Ambassador, she shares her experience and filming tips with others to help them succeed. The Ride On Video Contest is going on now through April 30th, with all submission details and guidelines available at stateparks.utah.gov. This year, there's also a special event planned Saturday, March 16th, at the Jordan River OHV Park. That's where young would-be filmmakers can come and get tips on how to use their camera equipment and film their movie. Plus, admission to the park will be discounted for participants who want to ride their ATVs and dirt bikes afterwards. You could even film your entire movie there that day under the tutelage of professional local filmmakers. The contest is currently open, and then they can fill out an application and submit their video following those key instructions that are listed on there, along with the, the minimum qualifications, and the video is, is 90 seconds in length. Let them have fun, let them express their creativity. It's an opportunity to look into a whole different field and share one of your passions and maybe find a new hobby. Focus on yourself, teach like other kids why you like this sport and why you need to be safe and just show us how you stay safe. And who knows, you could end up winning 500 bucks and get to show your work to the world. Now, you don't need any special equipment, as I said, you know, a cell phone camera, small video camera, that'll do. And if you're a little bit nervous about this, don't forget that March 16th event where you can get tips from the professional filmmakers. For At Your Leisure, I'm Jerry Wood. Back to you, Chad and Rhea.